Indians and the Padres playing an afternoon twin bill after a rainout on Monday night. Zach McAllister getting the start for the Tribe, looking good early. Strikes out Everett Cabrera in the first. Then with a runner on second, he gets Yasmani Grandal to end the frame. Top two, Xavier Nady back to the mound. McAllister the flip to first. He looked sharp early. Bottom two, Indians with the bases loaded. Eric Stoltz getting the start for San Diego. David Murphy at the dish. He'll roll one to the right side, and it's going to be a close play at first. Stoltz looks like he got the foot down. Originally, though, Clint Fagan says safe, and he changes the call to out, and you'll see it was the right call because Murphy never touched first base, so the Indians failed to score. Bottom three as Drupal Cabrera at the plate. Hits one to the left side. Alexi Amarista, the nice stop, and then the strong throw. And how about Yonder Alonso picking it at first base? Nice job at both ends for the Padres. Bottom six now, Nick Swisher at the plate. And this play is going to look familiar. He hits one to the left side. Amarista again with the play, but this time Alonso can't make the play at first base. It's an E5. The Indians with a runner on second with one out. That set the stage for Jason Kipnis to step in. High fly ball, deep center field. Venable back on the track at the wall. It is gone. And the Indians have a 2 0 lead. Jason Kipnis, his first home run of the year. And the tribe is on top two zip. Just out of the reach of Will Venable, Stoltz ends up going five and two-thirds innings, two runs, one of them earned. McAllister allowed two runners to get on in the eighth, but Cody Allen comes in and strikes out Seth Smith to get out of the jam. So we go to the ninth, still two to nothing. John Axford in trying to close it out, but there's runners on second and third with one out. Will Venable at the plate. And Axford is going to strike out Venable swinging. He gets him to chase. That brings Nady to the dish with two outs and Axford trying to escape with the save. In the air, right field, Murphy makes the catch and the Indians win it. Axford stays perfect on the year, four for four in save situations. The Indians hang on for the two to nothing win to improve to five and three on the season. McAllister, seven and two thirds scoreless innings, five hits and seven strikeouts for his first win of the season. Cleveland is now 18-5 in its last 23 doubleheader games.